just going to show you how to test the CO2 that's produced uh, from your Mother Nature CO2 bucket. So here I have, it's quite a high spec CO2 detector. At the moment there is 638 parts per million in this growing area that I'm situated in at the moment. So if I put that, lev that down and then if I connect a small pump to the bottom pipe and when I say small, it doesn't need to be any more than 1.5 litres of air per minute. Then if I take the upper pipe, and ideally I would put that into the back of a small oscillating fan, and these should always be sat on the floor. So if I now put that near the sensor, and as the bucket gets pressurised, it will gradually increase. takes up to a, probably about a minute and it should start rising quite rapidly. So the 10 litre Mother Nature CO2 bucket is good for an area of 2.4 metres by 2.4 metres. The 5 litre Mother Nature CO2 bucket is ideally for an area of 1.2 metres by 1.2 metres. So that's now at 3,800, 4,300 parts per million. This is quite a sensitive bit of equipment and it will probably take it up to 9,999. So like I said, always have the CO2 Mother Nature bucket on the floor and CO2 will get warmer and it will rise up into the canopy and then go out of the, either the windows or an extractor. So that's how powerful they are. It's now maxed out at 10,000 parts per million. So I'll turn that off and that's a video to show you how you can test. We have CO2 detectors, cheaper versions of these, where you can detect or test your CO2 in your area and keep a, keep a monitor of it all.